Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. And today we are looking at the brand new Joe Montana and Charles Woodson. Joe Montana is going to be one of the more popular QB options right now in the game. Does get that Slinger 1 release with Tua, Mike Vick, Andrew Brees, of course, Aaron Rodgers release. We all know what it is. Um, and it's a really good release, especially from the pocket. It has its issues as far as throwing the ball deep, but short to mid, it is the best release in the game. So when you're using a pocket quarterback like Joe Montana, especially in a game where a lot of pressure is sent, it's good to have that fast release. Um, but of course the stats are good he's an ultimate legend 99 overall and they actually made him a pretty good ball carrier for a joe montana card i mean 93 cod obviously i have some pretty wicked boosts on him but then you have the uh, 89 juke move with the 89 brady tackle and 88 carrying and then for the abilities today we are going with, we're going to go with a 4 ap setup with conductor protected set feet fearless and hot route master um, i don't feel like he really needs gunslinger with the slinger one release but of course that option is there for you here are all the 1 AP abilities that he is able to get. Actually, pass lead. Yeah, they're literally all 1 AP besides, I think, threat detector. And then for his 0 AP ability, he does get hot route for 0, gunslinger for 0, fearless for 0, set feet for 0, QB playmaker for 0, and does get 2x Niners cams and 2x Chiefs cams, and of course, ultimate legend quarterback and legend. So, of course, good abilities, good stats on Joe Montana, and a good release. This card should play very well. And of course, here is Charles Woodson. This card's gonna play great. It's obvious. 99 speed base, there's 99 zone base, 99 jumping, six foot one, two oh two, of course, with the ball in his hands. Also pretty good. He got 99 COD, 98 juke move, 95 carrying, 97 braid tackle. They did cheat his route running a little bit. They did cheat it a little bit, but uh these stats are amazing. These stats are crazy. Six foot one, of course, does get 2x Raiders, 2x Packers, of course, Ultimate Legends and Legends theme teams. And then we head over here, he actually does get 0 AP deep out, 0 AP flat zone, 0 AP mid zone, as well as 0 AP acro and pick artist. Unfortunately, only does get one 0 AP ability, so it doesn't matter that much because you kind of have to run pick artist, right? If you want to use this card super effectively. Um, but you could honestly go like acro, deep out zone, or I even kind of like deep out zone and deep route for just 1 AP, which is pretty good too. But yeah, pretty good abilities. Also 1 AP film studies there for you. I and mean, of course, you could go with that 1 AP pick artist acro stack or the or the 2 AP acro pick artist. You know, do whatever you want to do, right? I only have 1 AP left for him right now. But of course, that flexibility is there for you. Also, strip specialist is there, enforcer is there. So yeah, it's pretty interesting here for a corner, right? Pretty good. And of course, does get secondary safety cam. So yeah, let's hop into the gameplay and let's see what Charles and Joe Montana can do today. All right, here we go. We got game number one starting off on defense. We're going to go in our match cover four. Of course, match cover four. And I am... I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of looking for a new scheme, new defense. Obviously, this game right now, I mean, I can run my defense and be fine. I, there's no reason for me to really switch, or even on offense, no reason for me to really switch. Besides the fact that this game to me right now is so stale, so boring, so I kind of wanted something new. So, uh, for that reason, the question of the day will be comment your books down below. And no, I don't want to run tight. I do not want to run tight or anything like that. So, um,. Yeah, if you run that, I mean, you can still comment it, of course, but I need I need some suggestions, some like some like unique stuff, you know. Um, I did like Cardinals. Cardinals is pretty similar to the playbook I run. Uh, Ravens could be good, of course, for you know, um, of course, the QB runs that I like to use. So I don't know, I don't know what to do, man. So drop a drop a comment down below. What book are you running? If you ever wonder what my book is, it is Pass Balanced, uh, the alternate book, the alternate playbook. But uh, yeah, where's Charles Woodson? Charles Woodson on that right side over there guarding the Julian Edelman. That's got to be Edelman, right? Who's honestly still not a bad card. Um, Edelman goes C route, cross here, rematch that. Outside, he's probably going to have Carmichael there. He does. That's a pretty good pass. Guy kind of went crazy. The New England final boss. I don't know why that's his name, but he's cooking it. And honestly, I do kind of like having that ability to run deep out zone KO and deep route KO. I kind of like that ability, especially on some corners, because I, I switch it up sometimes. And uh, I like to blitz with zero. So I, I kind of, I, I, don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate having deep route and deep zone, deep out zone um, on the same card. I really, I really kind of like it. Okay, so of course the name of the game with Joe Montana is going to be getting the ball out quick. Obviously you can throw that deep bomb. It's going to be a little bit difficult because Slinger 1's deep release is not that good. Um, he's already kind of creeping these guys down, which is a bit concerning. I feel like you knew, I feel like you knew that was kind of coming there. I'm going to hit my check down. Slinger 1, good pass lead, honestly. Brees says get off me. Brees with a nice gain about was it nine no, that was a nine that was not nine wait that may have been nine yards that was actually a pretty good game that's a pretty solid looking game right there yeah i don't know why i feel like this guy just has good defense 
feel like this guy just is gonna have it. It's gonna be tough for us today to kind of get that ball on the field. But I, I hate the defense like this when that corner's like misaligned on my outside receiver. I feel like I should have that throw every single time. But obviously, you, you don't. You just don't have that throw. And we gotta hit a B over the middle. Good ball there from Joe. And you still can see that, you know, obviously, Gunslinger does speed up that release a little bit, but you really don't need it. Slinger 1 is so good to the point where you really just, you really don't need it like that. Um, we can try taking a shot here, low key. I don't know. I, I, I would not, I would not hate to take a shot here. Just because I don't know. I mean, it's probably a bad down and distance to do it, obviously. First and 25, but screw it. Why not? Put a comeback there. Hope he's playing cover three. If he is, we could have a bomb lined up. Or if he leaves Brandon Marshall, I'll just hit him there. Sit, sit in the pockets, in the pockets, in the pocket, and try to escape that. Okay, Joe, throw it away. Oh, why did you? All right. Well, Joe, I when I hit the throwaway button, Joe spun back into the pass rush, which is not ideal. That was a cover two. I didn't even look downfield because I felt the pass rush immediately. That is a problem. We are, we can low-key try verticals here. Verticals is unstoppable, man. Verticals is one of the greatest plays of all time. Obviously not ideal down in distance, but hey, Joe did escape that pocket, man. Joe did escape that pocket. This is probably DB fire. Maybe not. I'm the, I'm the one, I'm going to be Marsh here. How is that, how's that not a lob? Can I get a lob pass? I tapped that, I tapped that bumper so slight, and this dude, these have not been. There they are open. Get it there, and you see that deep release right there. That, that that slinger three slinger one that's the difference right there between the completion and you know a throw out a sack it, 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 it's minuscule it's very minuscule but still it made a difference right there right it made a difference you saw it and who do i want i have nothing open yeah we're just getting db fired two up the middle right now so we will um <laughs> yeah we really are in a tough scenario here all right well here we go Gronk just get open or something like that. I just want to get a completion. There we go. Okay, let's go. We should have done that earlier instead of me trying to... That's why I don't throw bombs. That's why I don't try to throw bombs on first down. You got to get some yardage first, man. You got to close that distance. Then we go for the bomb. We don't get it. We get sacked. And then we get to throw out a sack after that. Did I get sacked in between there? I may have, dude. I don't know. That was impressive, though. 50 and 50 is tough to do. We're here. He might try tomorrow. We get we get a sack of our own. He's blocking Gronk. Who I want here? Good man coverage. He likes that ball a lot. And Jamar Chase just comes right down with it. Do I not have play receiver on? I got play receiver on, and we still got that animation. That is ridiculous. All right, we're probably going to lose this game, but we'll hop in another one. We'll hop in another one. He's going to be the end of the quarter. No, he does get it off. Now for Gronk, it goes right there. He's got Gronk. Oh, boy. Okay. We lose that one. Yep, let's get another game. That was a tough one. We got to bounce back. Okay, who would I rather? Joe Montana. Of course, this is, you know, what what I like at quarterback. And I like a little bit more speed for me personally. I like a little bit more speed. But uh, he's still pretty good. I, I would still, I would probably put him, honestly, behind Cam Newton. If I had to pick, if I was picking a quarterback for my team, I would probably take Cam over Joe Montana because I like running a little bit. If you like playing from the pocket, and you're probably a much better player than I am at this game, uh, if you can play from the pocket, uh, Slinger one, Joe Montana with, the, with those good abilities is definitely nice. I probably would put Joe at six. I would take Cam over him. I'd take Tebow over him. I haven't used Trevor Lawrence yet, so I don't know. Uh, Stabler, I would take Joe over Stabler, um, but that is honestly pretty close. Honestly, that one, that one, I might take Stabler, honestly. Slinger three, I would I would probably take Stabler. And better speed, I'm going to go Stabler there. Um, I'm going to go Joe over, my, or, or Joe over Mahomes. Uh, I would probably go Brady, and then I, I probably would go Joe over Kenny Pickett. I would go Tua over Joe. I would go to uh, or, 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 sorry, I would go Joe over Justin Fields, Joe, Steve McNair, probably Randall Cunningham, probably Daniel Jones. I would take Joe over Drew Brees, but that one's honestly pretty close. Honestly, Joe Montana might end up being like low to high A tier. Probably a low S tier. Low S tier. No, sorry, I meant to say S tier. Low S tier. Low S tier to high A tier. He's in that range, honestly. He's it's honestly where he is. And for Charles Woodson at cornerback, I mean, I think outside of like Deion Sanders being number one because he does get two zero AP abilities to me they're all very similar you know they just are I mean Woodson does get good abilities you want to go free deep out zone KO I would probably say he's number two or number three um he's very similar to Night Train Lane in the way that they have the same build can both both cards can tackle both get good abilities both are 99 overalls I guess he's he's better than Trey White Trey's only 5'11 so I would probably put him at three two or three for uh, Charles Woodson but honestly like I said at this point they're all good right they're all good you know they are so that that's that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying for the corners 
Really, even the receivers, not much really puts them apart from each other, to be honest. All right, here we go. Game number two. Hopefully, this one will go a little bit better than the first one, man. Hopefully, it will. Of course, you know, that new, those new playbooks, let me know. I'll be, I want to test them out. I want to test them out. I really haven't been playing this game too much, to be honest. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. But, um, yeah, here we go. Good start. And now, second and ten. This is the down and distance where we can try taking a shot down the field. Obviously, taking shots down the field right now in this game, a little bit difficult because of how good, you know, zone coverage is and things like that. But let's go... Let's try Texas. I actually like this play a lot because you have a Texas route on the backside. And this Gronk route is honestly pretty good. You put this guy in a comeback. Something can shake sometimes on this route. So actually, I'm going to leave Brandon Marshall on this little underneath thing. We're actually going to take Breeze here over the middle. And of course, he's a good height where he's not going to hit Lyman in the back of the head. Joe Montana. And again, like you said, quick down releases. There's no slinger involved right there. The ball's just getting out quick. And also, I should probably be flexing that conductor muscle a little bit. My first time using conductor this year, and I'm just not used to Yeah, you really can't adjust much faster. I made one adjustment. You still have to wait for them to kind of get set, and then you can make your adjustments again. What's even the point of conductor if that's what it's like? And right now, you, we're setting this guy up right now. we got to get him to come down, and then we can... Um, I'm a 38. Do we even try taking a shot at this point? Let's just go Let's go with my bread and butter. Let's go with the bread and butter corner right here to Gronk. Don't hate that idea. We're going to go with the motion slant. Hopefully, he's playing down in the flats a little bit. That's what we're looking for here. So there we go. And let's hope someone gets open. Whether it's Brennan Marshall, Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall. I'll take a check down if I have to. Check down's open. We're going to hit Gronk. There we go. Good ball. And there we go. Oh, my God. He, like, was at, he like went out. He, like, hits the out of bounds, but it directed him back in. That doesn't make any sense. Bro, he, he, was, he was completely angled out of bounds. And it just, like, warped him right on the ground. Here we go. Once again. No motion slant this time. Step up in the pocket. We actually have Gronk open. Get it there. Do the high ball, and Gronk just drops it. Why did why do tight ends drop those passes so much? As if it's not if it's not hard enough to throw the ball against deep out zone KOs, they gotta make them drop the ball sometimes too. I mean, like that like that could have been a KO, sure. You know that was kind of contested, but like it wasn't even that. It was just a, that, that that's right there's a straight drop. That's a drop right there, man. You get Gronk open again. Get it there. Please do not drop it. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. All right. Let's try to end this thing right now. Let's end this thing right now. Let's go four verts. Just, just like this. That Gronk route. If we can get up the middle with Gronk. Beautiful. If it's Kamar. He's not pressing Kamardi though. So it probably won't be him. Um, It might be Gronk, honestly. And you see that deep release again. But yeah. So you can go a whole video sometimes without even getting tested once. Once that, that was a pick. I don't, I don't care if he was going to Calvin or Gronk. I'm getting back to either of those. I'm getting back to either. And let, let's go straight up man. Straight up man blitz. It's 5th and 10. Straight up man blitz. Press it. Who's on him? Bring him down. Is that Brett? Who's, who's number 9? Oh, I got stuck. Oh, boy. This might be a problem. Oh, we're going to get good pressure. There we go. Good pressure. That worked. That worked. Beautiful. Okay, what should we try here? We got one more drive in us. Hopefully, I, I was only watching, but hopefully Charles Woodson played phenomenal coverage on that last drive hopefully you know obviously this play i like because i can just i can kind of set it up quicker but really yo conductor makes no sense to run this this ability does really nothing it really maybe my fingers aren't fast enough or something but it really has not been doing anything and it, how's that ball not getting out so i thought that ball a little earlier maybe also gronk got stuck i mean i know we're feeding gronk corner routes but like that's really the only way you can get people open it's not motion slants we go again he's user rushing me so we want a here again catch it inbounds there we go third and six like really like it doesn't do much conductor really makes no difference i'm kind of disappointed by it i thought it'd be really good but it's really bad honestly we should get we should get b marsh open we can't get the ball out in time we can turn it over on downs a little bit too much he blitzed and the grave grog's corner out gets open there we're okay. We're okay because it's man-to-man -man coverage. Shorten did not light up. Simple as that. And we had to kind of wait for that Brandon Marshall route to develop. So let's actually go man coverage here. And we're not getting... He's not getting the craziest assignments. Actually, there we go. We probably, he, they may have actually tried him there. Picking off somebody. That may have been a try for Woodson. But Woodson did a good job guarding the wheel. Good job. Let's stay in man coverage. Let's try to stress it. Let's stress it a little bit here. My back, we're back on the Mario Davis. No pressure really underneath. And there we go. Good tackle right there by Cam Taylor Britt. Comes out in a tight formation. Charles Woodson's going to be on Justin Jefferson. 
I'm going to go right out to up here to, yep, okay, we get free pressure. That's what I wanted to do, get right out there to that. Because usually people, they always throw to the, to the left for whatever reason, I don't know why. I don't know why. And also, I kind of want him to throw to the left, or to the right. I kind of want him to, because I want to see him, I want to see him try him. This might just be a Gronk ball. Yup. Who do you want? Oh, he's going to try him. Let's go. Charles Woodson gets a pick. Okay, I didn't click on. Actually, I don't think I have play receiver on either. And we, of course, Charles Woodson going to be pretty good after the catch too. And there we go. Okay. Charles Woodson makes a play. I don't think I had play receiver on. That makes sense why he played the ball. But that's good right there, man. It's good right there. We're also in man-to-man -man coverage. I don't have KOs, so... I probably should have went for the pick anyway, but it, it worked. It worked out for us, which is, of course, good. And right now, I'm just trying to catch this dude in man coverage. This feels a lot like zone, though, to be honest. Zone again, and we should have this Y route underneath. He's giving it to us. The only problem with that with that route is you're kind of coming up and running right into, like, linebackers. Right here, I'm looking for the seam. We, got, we of course, have that open again. Get you get outside. He threw that corner. Freeze. Okay, there we go. It's a good game. It's a good game. I mean, I've been loving I've been loving joystick with evasive. That that combo is so nice to me right now. I love how I, I mean I don't like joystick by itself. I feel like it doesn't do that much, but when it, when you combine it with a juke, that's when it gets really good in my opinion. What we want here is oh never mind. Dude, another that, dude, damn. This is with protected, by the way. I got protected, I'm getting screamed at like this with like he's rushing three like that. This is got I mean he's not blitzing. I have threat detector, right? So this shouldn't be a blitz. Should have got Brandon Marshall. Easy. Get the first. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. I thought the acro may have triggered a deep out animation, but thankfully it did not. <laughs> we do convert there. Nice. I haven't run this play in a minute, but I low-key like it. Let's um let's run this ball. Here we go. Let's see what see what his read is. Go, 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 go. Joe Montana into the end zone for a touchdown. There we go. Okay. We get, we get one more shot on the field. Let's go five wide. Yeah, I'm not in the right spot. Five wide. And we'll run this play. Where is it? Here we go. Middle, high, low. Should be Cromarty running it. And my Cromarty has deep out, hopefully. It's still on him. I think it is. I don't know. It didn't let me see. We want deep out on Cromarty. It took for that route took literally forever to get out. My route's taking forever to develop right now. Kind of crazy. Get open. Get open. There we go. He gets open. Finally. Catch it. There we go, man. Okay. One second left. We get a touchdown. Where are you where are we going, Cromarty? Cromarty is going home. Okay. All right. Okay, he's going to sleep. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep too. Well, not really, but you know, I'll see you boys in the next one.